Okay, succession planning. This scenario is assuming the worst has happened and you are no longer in planet Earth. You have gone up to Ethereum heaven and your assets, well, they don't really matter to you anymore. But if you're anything like, um, you wanna make sure that you leave something to your next of kin, then thinking about succession planning now with your digital assets will help stand them in good stead. I've had a very good friend uh, that I lost in the last 12 months who had quite a, an amount of Bitcoin that was stored, he knew how, no one else knew how. And so that Bitcoin now no longer exists um, or it exists, but no one knows how to access it, which is very unfortunate. So let's uh, look at a way of how to make sure that you're protecting your assets uh, once the worst has happened and you're not on planet Earth anymore. So let's assume here uh, you had a setup with two hardware wallets and a software wallet and you had a Gnosis safe setup. That's great. In order to make sure that instructions are put in place while also still protecting your assets when you're alive, you're going to need to do two things. The first is set up a fourth wallet and that's never used by you. Once you've set it up, you've got the seed phrase, the 24 words written down for that particular wallet and they go together in your will. So in your will, it'll say something like, I have assets, they're digital assets, they are stored on the blockchain. The way to access them is, and you're gonna write in there that the hardware wallet with the pin and the seed phrase is half of the puzzle to access it. And the other half is the seed phrase for one of the two hardware wallets that you usually use. And what that will give them is a way to access your assets once you have gone. Now, you only want that to come into play when you're not around. So what I would suggest is putting the fourth wallet that is just for your will, put that into a safety deposit box that is only able to be accessed by your next of kin as part of probate. So you've got some legal protection there. Uh, what you don't want to do is have that fourth hardware wallet with your seed phrase just lying around your house. Uh, that negates the whole purpose. So that could be a way where you can plan to hand on your digital wealth to the next generation or to the people you care about. And that could be anyone in the crypto Twitter space, for example.